Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general energy reading for the collective, for the collective Christmas countdown. So we're on day 21, the 21st of December. So only a few more days left until Christmas, which is very exciting. So um, with it being a general reading, I could be reading for yourself or for your love interest if it does pertain to love. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best fits with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. Now, this isn't specific to any zodiac signs. Um, it's also a timeless reading. So it's kind of whenever you come across it, it's when you come across it. Okay. The other thing as well is I put a link at the end of the reading, um, which will give you access to the playlist if you haven't had a chance to see the other collective Christmas countdown readings as well. Okay, so as we're leading up to Christmas, um, this is just a bonus reading for you all. Okay, so let's get into this. Angels of love and light, can we please have clear, concise messages for today, the 21st of December? Let's get into this. What do the collective need to know for today? Hmm, I'm feeling this one. Death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio strongly in your chart or maybe you're a Scorpio. Um, or your person has Scorpio strongly in their chart. Wow. King of Pentacles. Upright. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That is fascinating because in yesterday's reading, um, the King of Pentacles actually came out as the second spot, which is so fascinating to me. Like I've shuffled and shuffled these cards and when they come out like it's it just fascinates me it really does because it means like the same messages are coming through two of cups oh my gosh with the wheel of fortune oh wow okay so we have leo energy we have aquarius we have more scorpio here and we have taurus oh my gosh guys let's keep going let's pull a few more cards so we get a clearer picture as what potentially could be going on here. What else for today? Two of Wands upright. So we have Earth energy on the table, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys. King of Pentacles and then what came underneath was the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, wow. Karmic partner vibes here. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my days. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Oh my gosh. Let's let's carry on pulling a few more cards. Oh. Eight of Swords in reverse. Capricorn energy with the devil. Mm. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Four of Cups upright. Four of Swords in reverse. So we have two twos on the table, two of ones and the two of cups. We have a pair, but not an upright pair. We have a karmic pair here. We have two eights that are next door to each other. We have the death card, which is 13, but numerology wise, you add that up one and three. That is a four. And we have the Four of Cups. So we have two, four, three fours with the Four of Swords in reverse. So we have three fours, four, four, four. So you could be seeing those numbers or maybe your person is. You could be seeing 22. And we are going into the year 2022 next year. We have, yeah, oh my gosh, massive changes coming in with the five and balance. Oh my gosh, how funny is that? 
four, five, six. I know there are different suits or different um, minors, but there's some sort of progression that is definitely coming through here. What I'm picking up on is that there is a block in communication as of right now with the eight of wands in reverse. Somebody is fantasizing about the idea of communicating to someone. They've been up in their head about it and they desperately want to get out of their head to do with the whole situation and they just want to do it. Like they just want to communicate they just want to reach out they just want to be able to get into contact and have some sort of union with someone with the two of cups they've been planning and planning and planning this for a very long time they may have felt very stuck and felt like they couldn't move themselves forward because of something or someone most likely a long-term partnership here with the queen and the king of pentacles Somebody is getting themselves ready with the Four of Swords in reverse to release themselves from what like felt like a prison. This is, wow, that's pretty deep. Um, and it's interesting to me because this person, this lady is like tied up and she's got, um, she's got like cloth or extra cloth or what have you around her eyes and her body. And like, she's kind of, chained up or tied up to these swords but if you were to take this card and reverse it it's like it would it wouldn't it wouldn't naturally be so tight like it just would kind of fall off her probably and this person's definitely felt like in a prison like i'm getting prison bars but they're getting they're getting themselves released from this mental prison that they've been in Potentially they've been trapped long term with someone for a very long time in maybe a family home or something and they f it's felt like a prison to them but they felt trapped in their mind but also they felt physically trapped with something or with someone. Um, a contract maybe because we have, um, I'm getting contract, the word contract just came through so if somebody's felt tied in with a particular contract and, I, and we've had the, the pandemic as well, haven't we? Where people have been like forced to lock down with people, um, with, with family or whoever. And there could be some sort of unveiling about these people that they've been feeling like they've been trapped with. And it's felt like a prison, like a mental prison and a, a physical prison. <clears throat> Oh my god, why am I getting that? S somebody gone to prison? Gone to jail? Because of a contract? Somebody potentially just missed it by a hair I'm getting? Like they were cl so close to getting into prison and something happened? Is somebody nearly get locked up? Or somebody wants someone to get locked up. Oh gosh, throw away the key. Somebody feels angry about something. They feel very frustrated. Peed off, I'm getting. Somebody has been on a very long um, journey or a long soul cycle with this person, most likely a karmic cycle. And they're just waiting for their breakthrough. They're wanting it to finish. They're wanting it to end. They want their luck to change. They want things to turn around in their favour I'm getting. Somebody really wants to have a union or a reunion with someone who they know that they're meant to be with or they feel like they know they're meant to be with. Somebody that doesn't want their past to affect their present so they're doing whatever they can that's why they're planning so much they made a particular decision because they don't want the past to kind of get in the way. That's why this person is like looking at the past here with the world. They're putting their back, see how this person's putting their back to this 
karmic partner. They both got their backs to each other. One's planning to have the world and to move on and do it at something else, but they're looking at their past. <clears throat> My throat keeps on wanting to go. And they want to find the passion in their life. And they're trying, it's like this person's trying to find the answers. They're trying to look out and find the answers. That's what it feels like to me. Maybe somebody wants to just retreat, take some time alone to kind of figure out what it is that they want. They, this person may feel really quite restless. They've not been happy in another situation. Maybe this person may even feel like it would be right to travel. Maybe there, there's obviously there is travel restrictions, isn't there? But somebody really wants to travel. They're fantasizing about the idea of traveling, going somewhere. But maybe they feel like they can't go as of yet. They can't do that. Somebody's definitely making plans here, though. This person, I'm getting either the karmic partner or your love interest walked out very suddenly on a particular connection and it just got stopped dead because somebody didn't want to feel trapped anymore because it wasn't going anywhere. And all there was was a third party like disputes. There was just arguments and somebody's just got really peed off. That's what I was picking up on earlier. Somebody had wanted to move on maybe to another partner where they felt l there was love there. There's been lies. Potentially somebody lied about the fact that they wanted to bring balance to a connection and that wasn't true. Yeah, that could have, that wasn't true, maybe, with the Ace of Wands in reverse. There's lots of setbacks here. Maybe somebody said that they wanted to work on a connection but they lied about it. And they had a changed a change of heart, a changed mind. They changed their mind or something. Somebody became emotionally um, unavailable. Look at that, we have the emperor here in reverse. And then the ace of cups. Could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like somebody just said one thing and did another thing. I feel like there's been some sort of somebody said about putting a, a putting a connection together, bringing the passion together, doing something to bring some sort of spark back or passion back or do something. Oh wow. I'm getting you've embarrassed yourself. Somebody, somebody's embarrassed themselves. Somebody feels humiliated. Somebody may have tried to put it on someone or do something and it didn't go down very well. Somebody felt rejected by somebody else. Because they didn't love that person anymore. They didn't feel the way that they felt. There was love elsewhere for someone else. And somebody's been really stressed. Some sort of lie has been exposed here. That somebody was juggling someone else. Maybe they kicked them out of home because they expressed love to someone else to fix another situation here and to have a reunion. So they gave up. Look at that, Empress and the Emperor in reverse of what you don't see. There was two people here 
who may have tried to make something work and it just I'm getting fell flat on its face for some reason there was maybe some sort of suspicions that there was some sort of an affair or somebody's found themselves in the middle of a scandal and someone else felt very stressed about the fact that somebody else was thrown into something that wasn't really of their own doing and they had to to fix it sort something else could be to do with someone that was close to home somebody lost somebody's lost some sort of faith that they're not going to be happy in a particular relationship or situation of sorts yeah, because they've been stabbed in the back by someone here with a ten of swords. Heartbroken. I'm going to keep that there on the table. Because we have ten, ten. That wanted to be seen. I'm just getting this sense that somebody um, manipulated somebody else. Anything else you can tell us for this reading? Or the 21st, please. I'll pull a few more cards and then I'll obviously go to the majors. Anything else that you can tell us here? Ten of Wands in the reverse. Wow, guys. Ten, ten, and then ten. <sighs> wow, with the full Aries energy. This is so powerful, guys. Yeah, karmic partnership was burdensome. Look at that. Somebody's letting go, offloading the stress to do with a karmic connection. That somebody got stabbed in the back in that they felt restless in and they have literally been wanting to move on. Take the leap of faith because it's just been stressful. Um, Aquarius energy. This person's really needed some time to heal from this other situation. Somebody may be really um, blaming somebody else. A lot of unfair blame for something that went wrong. Uh, like pointing the finger at someone for a situation with how it, how it happened. And it was just really unfair. And it wasn't true. Maybe somebody tried to play victim and be like... Um, you're the one that caused this. You're the one that did this. You're the one that did this, this and this. And it turns out that actually they were hiding something. And it was it was to do with them that they were the ones that actually caused such and such and try to put blame on someone else. Like getting someone to throw someone else under the bus. Obviously, please take what you feel resonates and leave the rest, guys. Because obviously, with the type of messages that come out sometimes. Yeah, look at that. Someone was trying to cause a load of drama in someone's life. There's been lies and somebody about moving on. There's been a lot of disagreements here. Getting intimidation for some reason. Somebody was trying to look at that win at all costs. Someone's trying to use intimidation to pre to prevent someone from dropping a burden to do with someone else, make them feel stuck, like they couldn't move on in something or some way. But they're gonna finish it off anyway. They're gonna leave anyway. This could have been really quite heartbreaking. For some, the light's been shown on a situation. Maybe the maybe dealing with a Leo here with the sun. What else can you tell us please, for today, for the 21st? Yep, someone's needing to take the time to retreat and heal themselves away from a situation. Oh my God, I can't even make it up with temperance. Somebody is taking the time to heal so that they can have a reconciliation, get themselves out of their head to be able to have a, 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 a union, uniting.
somebody wants to test the waters at some point somebody's been illuminated that they need to heal something so that things could be balanced out somebody's trying to be patient to gain the stability in their life like they'll eventually get to where they want to be you could be dealing with a sagittarius so you have this strongly in your chart or maybe your person does somebody is needing to take solitude as of right now time to regroup i'm getting to reconnect nine of wands in reverse and the knight of wands four of wands in reverse there is going to be communication at some point there is there may be a block or somebody's purposely blocking somebody else from having a conversation, but it is going to happen. Somebody's going to let go of the burdens of something or someone and they're going to move on forward confidently with this inspired action to do something. So I'm getting someone's getting their independence back. There, there's going to be some sort of fast movement eventually. Somebody's closing out a cycle to then eventually take the leap of faith and have peace in their life. I'm going to clarify um, these majors here on the table. So we have the, the death, um, death card. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So we've got the two so far. Okay. All right. Somebody's definitely not taking responsibilities for something that happened in a relationship and pointing the finger at somebody else. For sure. I'm getting I'm getting that somebody is trying to cling on to somebody else. Somebody's trying to cling on to somebody else. They're wanting attention from someone. Why is this death card here? Scorpio energy. Why is death here? Oh, sorry. Death, Scorpio energy. Why are you here for three? Nine of cups upright and the ace of wands. Yeah, wow. Somebody's wish fulfillment is to transform their life. They don't want the past to affect their present anymore because they want to end what they need to end to bring in a brand new passionate chapter here with the Nine of Cups, with the Dream Come True card and the Ace of Wands. Somebody's wish fulfillment to have a new beginning is to leave an unhealthy relationship that they may have been comfortable in and resistant to change, but they will be changing that because we have the Wheel of Fortune here. And obviously we've got these tens as well. So it's kind of like that it will be dropped at some point. Somebody misses somebody else. They've been repressing their emotions about how painful a past situation was and they want to have a new start and move on to calmer waters here. Yeah, some tr sort of truth and honesty is going to be made clear about a relationship, a love situation or how somebody got to where they got to in their life and what they're dropping and what they're needing to keep and what have you. Somebody's felt regretful about their actions or they're really quite sad about a breakup. Double fives here, 55. And we got that five earlier, so five, five, five. So you could be seeing those numbers or your person is, and that's to do with huge changes. What else here for the death card, please? 
somebody's definitely got a lot of anxiety. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. Somebody's wanting to take action. They really are. I'm not going to take all that. Somebody's really ready to take action and they want to manifest their life and have a reunion and celebrations. They want things to be more lighthearted with the Three of Cups. What else here with the Death card? Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody is speaking up on their truth. Yep, yeah, they're getting connected with their, with their thoughts and their emotions. Look at that, double queens. Somebody's nurturing their emotions more and they're nurturing their thoughts more. So I'm getting more positive self-talk. Um, being kinder to oneself. Maybe somebody was very harsh in the past um, to themselves. And they're taking the time to speak better of themselves. And set boundaries. They could be receiving some sort of advice from someone who's um, very clear-headed, um, very fair. Who's giving them advice on how to move themselves forward. Somebody could have been lying to themselves about a situation. That they were happy, but they weren't happy. That they were emotionally unfulfilled, that their cup wasn't filled. That they had to take the time to fill up their own cup. Else here for death, please. Somebody is leaving something to because they want their freedom. They want their freedom. The Queen of Swords likes her freedom. She likes to be independent. Judgment in the reverse. Yeah, wow. Oh my God, how beautiful. That's the message I'm getting. Full energy again. Sagittarius with this, the judgment. Somebody is getting clarity on how to move on and have the brand new beginning after a separation or a breakup with someone that they may have felt stuck with or stuck in. And they're closing the cycle out to renew something else. But also they're getting clarity in some sort of advice so that they can gain some sort of independence and not to make sure that they're not stuck in the past anymore because this person may have been very stuck dwelling on the past I'm getting and they're needing to get themselves get themselves out of it getting their head out of it I'm getting get get out of it So you could be dealing with a, a Gemini as well, with the lovers being in reverse. Somebody's been looking for a way out for quite some time. They may have had stability and they were comfortable in a situation, but emotionally they weren't fulfilled and that's why they're wanting to move on so that they can go for their wish fulfillment, their dream come true. Somebody's getting ready to communicate some sort of good news to someone that they're moving on from something that was unstable in the past here with the four of wands in reverse. Moving on from a particular relationship where there was two people who didn't see eye to eye. Let's look at this Wheel of Fortune, see if we can get some extra cards in here. Five of Swords, and it landed right between the five, the the Queen and the the King of Pentacles. There's massive arguments going on right now between the two of them. I'm getting loggerheads for some reason. There's two people at loggerheads, very stubborn with one another, fighting, fighting. Somebody's fighting to become self-sufficient. Yeah, this is really hurting somebody. There's a lot of pain here. Somebody is really like knuckling down on their finances. They're really working on it. They've been at a crossroads for quite some time, but they're gonna get themselves out soon. Somebody, 
I'm getting the sense that somebody is trying to intimidate someone else. By, by intimidate someone by something, by doing something to someone. Maybe about their reputation. Somebody may have a very solid reputation and somebody... I'm getting... Because look, because how this is laying out to me, it could be the karmic partner because you see how this, this person here is like it's coming from this person it's been said this way so it's like if you were to go like that then you would say that the queen is ordering this person to make sure whatever is happening and like it's definitely from this side because look at this person looking at this king and then these two people are like upset kind of walking away so i feel like your person is um the one that's trying to become self-sufficient and somebody is the karmic partner most likely is trying to spread some sort of lies or use intimidation i'm getting blackmail emotion some sort of emotional manipulation um to to do something to their reputation or their status so that they're not going to be steady in something your person may have worked really hard to actually get to where they have in their life and then someone is just going to say, try to say a load of, you know, rubbish about them. That really could affect them financially. That could affect their reputation. So other people won't want to work with them, won't want to balance things, won't want to have something with them. Like, it's not just interfer interfering with a love connection, but it's interfering with their work, with their professional life, with how they're seen by the public, I'm getting public yeah to get other people not wanting to work with them here with the eight of pentacles in reverse but if there has been this block obviously because it was meant to clarify this wheel of, wheel of fortune i feel like that's coming to an end very soon but it landed where it did, so I'm not going to move it. Oh. Wow, card fell on the floor. Knight of Cups. This person will come forward towards you to express their love. They are incredibly passionate about you here with the King of Wands upright. They want you. They have so much love and passion for you with the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. If this person could be here right now... Oh, they would be. They would be in a heartbeat. This person, you know, this knight is like looking, looking to the future. They're going to move themselves forward. They're following their heart. They're going to wear their heart on their sleeve and they're going to move themselves forward. They're coming back to you. Look at that with the six of swords in reverse. They're coming back. They'll most likely say that they've been in something that they didn't want to be in and they're trying to balance that out right now so they can have a tangible new beginning with you. With the Ace of Pentacles. They want you and them to take the connection slowly because they've dealt with other people in the past who I'm getting tricked them said that they wanted to work on something and then they didn't and they felt haunted by it and potentially they may have issues with how... Um, with working with people but look four of wands upright with the king of wands this person wants it all with you they want to feel successful they there's that you you two are going to have victory and success together that's it you will you will have the deeper commitment you'll both feel i'm getting safe and secure you both will feel safe and secure this person is going to really make the effort they're going to make their move to balance things to reconcile with you here with temperance so sagittarius energy they really are they may have not come forward with their feelings in the past they may have felt a little bit vulnerable from this other situation that they've been dealing with but they will eventually the tower in reverse with the lovers in reverse gemini energy and aries and scorpio here with the tower This person's gone through a breakup with a karmic cycle that wasn't meant to stand the test of time. Yeah, it was just painful here with the Three of Swords. 
Somebody may have had to grieve a relationship. They've had to grieve it, especially if they've been in it for a very long time. Maybe they feel very sad because they're having to accept a situation that didn't work and they may have put a lot of time and energy and resources, especially money and everything else in there. And they didn't get out of it what they thought they were going to get out of it and most likely been backstabbed and betrayed by this person or other people and the path that it's led to them like led to where they've got to like it's not been it's not been a, a pretty journey and this person is feeling devastated they feel a lot of pain from having to go through this separation because the loyalty's gone in this other connection completely it was most likely a codependent relationship too, like financially as well, I'm getting, especially here with these two, um, this, this pair here. There were secrets between the two of them, juggling, look at that, two of pentacles in reverse. There were secrets to do with money, um, lack of money, or issues to do with money, or um, juggling finances, or juggling two relationships, or infidelity, Somebody may have borrowed heavily with particular money, what have you. Um, this cat's out the bag here with the High Priestess in reverse. Somebody may feel really quite isolated. Somebody could be holding a grudge right now to do with a connection about a breakup. But this connection wasn't meant, it wasn't meant to last. It wasn't meant to, to carry on. It was meant to be cycled out here and it's going to be with the Wheel of Fortune. What else can you tell us of the Wheel of Fortune, please? This person's just preparing themselves to get ready to leave, to be able to come back to you. Look at that with the Six of Swords in reverse. They're just, they're just prepping themselves. Anything else for the Wheel of Fortune? They realise that this other connection who your person was dealing with, it was either going to work and the relationship was going to improve if they've gone through a tricky patch, like a rough patch, um, or it was going to end. And it ended because it wasn't meant to, it, it wasn't meant to work. Somebody's definitely trying to get all they can get from a situation. Your person is going to get the self-sufficiency that they're after here and rewards for what they've done. Justice is coming in with the Libra energy. Beautiful. And they're no longer going to feel sad and upset from whatever happened in the past. They're going to eventually look to the future. They will eventually recognise those two cups. What they felt like they missed out in one situation where those three cups have been spilled, most likely because of the upset to do with this other situation. We've got the two of cups here. And once this person, you know, has turned around behind them to walk back to this bridge up the river, they're going to see the two cups and they're going to walk past the two cups. or they're going to look down and see those two cups as they get their footing. And they're going to recognize that these two cups have been there the whole entire time, which is you and you and them. And that's where there's going to be justice for the two of you. This person feels like they missed an opportunity with you because they'll recognize those two cups and they'll realize that you've been missing in their life because they invested something else with someone else. But justice is coming in. This person may have lacked faith for quite some time that things were gonna work out, but it will do. And it will work out beautifully because the Wheel of Fortune is 11, then Justice is, um, sorry, Wheel of Fortune is 10, and then Justice is 11. What else is for the Wheel of Fortune? Anything else for this Wheel of Fortune? Seven of Pentacles, yeah. They're going to get their investment back. They're going to get their investment back after they've been very hurt in another situation. Whatever they invested in will eventually come back to them tenfold, I'm getting, for some reason. It may not look at the time and it may take a little while to kind of build, but 
I feel like it's something is going to be there. Seven of Cups. Somebody's definitely seeing the bigger picture of their life here, fantasizing about stepping things up, about changing things around and having a reconciliation with the star. Healing a situation, maybe with a Leo here with the strength card. Somebody's been in deep contemplation. Somebody's going to get the courage to move on forward and do something that they've been wanting to do for a while. Maybe um, create some sort of peace. I'm just going to um, look at this justice because I know that we've got that for the Wheel of Fortune, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting... What's this justice? What's the justice? Why is justice... <laughs> so Somebody obviously wants to know what this justice means. So um, why is justice here for this reading today? What does justice mean? There's too many. Is there anything for justice? Oh, yeah, that was it the star and the five of cups. So whoever's felt sad and felt like somebody slipped away from them, the justice is that it will be healed with the star. And that there will be a connection working together after getting rid of either um, a toxic situation or a toxic karmic partner here with the Capricorn energy of the devil in reverse and a long-term situation that wasn't really getting anywhere, that wasn't moving on anywhere. Somebody's getting justice for being heartbroken, for being rejected, being lied to. <sighs> somebody's getting justice because somebody's felt like they've not been able to move on. And somebody wants to bring in some sort of healing and work on a connection. Somebody's going to get the justice with their financial security. They're going to get the justice of closing out a karmic cycle. So they're getting karmic justice. And also there's this kind of beautiful soulmate energy between the two of you, you and your person. Somebody is going to have be more balanced in having, you know, a more balanced work life I'm getting rather than a workaholic. Somebody could have been obsessed with working all the time, but it's going to be a healthier balance. Like somebody's dropping not being like work, work, work all the time. They're healing that aspect. So they actually have time to balance a love relationship and work as well as rather than just like, you know, going all for work and getting. Somebody is going to make sure that somebody is not being taken for granted. There may even be there may even be um, marriage at some point some sort of legal tie or something between you and someone else between you and per your person somebody's going to really do whatever they can do to make a connection to make a connection work to protect a con connection i'm getting somebody wants to open up their heart and they don't want either you to be single for long or somebody doesn't want someone to be single for long they they want to be in a relationship so somebody's going to be single from something and then potentially get into something else but I don't feel like that's going to take, that's going to be rushed though. That's going to take time. Somebody's just trying to find peace in themselves. And if that takes time, then it takes time. You know, it's, yeah, somebody's trying to find peace from the third party relationship. And that's necessary because you want the, make sure that the, any of the issues that was happening from that other situation to be resolved rather than just jumping in too quickly into something that was incredibly heartbreaking. You don't want to do that. Somebody wants to feel more relaxed emotionally as well. Like they don't want to have like, I'm, I'm getting like emotional outbursts for some reason. Somebody could be really struggling with their emotions or they have done. And so they want to just feel more balanced emotionally. Anything else is justice or is that it? Because I don't want to keep going if there isn't anything else. Yeah. The emotionally balanced. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody felt let down in the past and somebody wants to protect a connection with the seven of wands. 
somebody's going to have justice for feeling stuck they're going to be unstuck there's going to be justice for somebody who didn't show that they cared who was nonchalant who was aloof somebody who may have lied in the past somebody who may have been um unjust i'm getting there's balance coming in there's balance coming in into the material plane i'm getting in relation to all of this it will be uncovered soon that somebody actually wants to protect what it is that you have between the two of you I don't know why because obviously I'm getting the justice card I'm getting for some reason another message um, that someone that a, it could be a karmic partner or your person or however this resonates somebody was holding onto a home despite court, court rule, rulings of a court rulings of an ownership to do with a home so somebody kept a home or kept a house even though the the court had said like the ownership of the house was for someone else or something else or someone else i'm getting not something else but for someone else if it meant that somebody had lost a particular home and it went to a karmic partner or vice versa or however this resonates and even though there was proof of that then i feel like if something didn't work out and that person kept that home or that situation then like to like not worry about it because something 10 times better is going to be coming along as like instead of somebody might be getting the reassurance that they're going to receive some sort of unexpected income which is going to allow them to have something better so for instance if you had like a two bedroom house or a one bedroom flat or whatever it was and you lost out on it and then you're going to get some unexpected finances which is going to allow you to get the justice of actually getting something which would be able to help you get a three bed or a four bed rather than a one or a two bed which you may have had in the past and you may have felt like you know rubbish about the fact that that had been lost to someone else then something is going to happen in with this kind of jackpot with the wheel of fortune justice is going to come in that is going to allow something at a later date to come in which is going to be better a lot better than somebody's expecting they're just having to have faith because there's going to be some sort of unexpected offer of finances or something that's going to help this person get the step up that they're needing to balance their life out because they did something right in the past like they changed something i'm getting applaud applause like somebody's wanting to be applauded they're needing to be applauded i'm getting clapping so somebody's getting told not to worry oh my god my throat's just closed up <clears throat> somebody's very emotional about this because somebody's really invested and worked hard but they'll have more than enough they'll have everything that they need and more to be able to help the people who are actually going to be close who who are close to them they'll have more than enough not to be able just to help themselves but to be able to help other people like the community their close friends close family like they're going to have more than they need so whatever upset that they was in the past it's not to worry about it because things things will work out better than than you or your person may have thought that it was going to work out wow guys anyway another very long reading oh my gosh oh, i just looked at the time anyway um <laughs> if you did enjoy the reading um please like share and subscribe leave us a comment i greatly appreciate it i hope that you have a really lovely day um if you did enjoy the reading um obviously hit that like button that makes a huge difference for the channel also um if you haven't subscribed yet or you have subscribed yet um hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert as to when i post another video for you all i hope that you have a very good day and we'll speak to you again soon uh, so take care thank you and bye for now